WormKit modules. Long story short, WormKit modules are a way for us to benefit from more than the standard game itself. There are many modules out there, ranging from modules which customise everything from how we play the game to how we see the game. In the past, we had to install the WormKit module software, which enabled us to load the modules into the game. But fortunately, along the way, developers included this feature into the game, so we no longer need to use a module loader. So it's quite as simple as downloading the file, putting it in your folder, mostly. So a few of my favourites are Flaming Health Bars, Super Front End, and Remap Keys. Remap Keys is the module that we will be looking at today. So, what is Remap Keys? Remapping keys is a standard feature of most video games. Remapping keys gives us the ability to rearrange our key layouts to whatever feels more comfortable or efficient so that you can get the most out of your gaming experience. Unlike old third-party key remappers, Remap Keys is an internal key remapper. It gives us the power to change keys without losing latency. You can find this module by visiting https colon forward slash forward slash worms2d.info forward slash wk remap keys. On the right side of the page, you will find the download button. Personally, I like to open with and then send the files directly to my Worms Armageddon directory. You can, however, copy this or save the file and extract it manually if you prefer doing it that way. Make sure to place the files in the Worms Armageddon directory. That is the same folder that the game exe file is located. In order to use remap keys, open the remapkeys.ini file located in the main Worms Armageddon directory. Remember, it's the same folder the game exe file is located. In this file, you will write what keys you wish to edit and which keys will activate them. It's very straightforward and easy to use. You need to use the right code names for each key. You can find these on the WK Remap Keys webpage. You have a code, a symbolic name, and a description. This is what my personal Remap Keys file looks like. When roping, since I am right-handed, I like to use WASD for arrows and tap the space bar with my right hand. I also use B for bazooka, N for grenade, and M for mine. That's easy for me to remember because it's bazooka, nade, mine. You can set it however you wish though. You can use a different key completely or even use multiple keys for the same action. For example, some players like using multiple space bars while roping for a technique called finger rolling. But we don't need to go into that just now. Here are a few examples of how Remap Keys is useful for me. Resistance is futile. Oh, one more thing. Make sure to activate WormKit modules if you want to use them. You can do this by going to the options, clicking on advanced, and there it is, load WormKit modules. Make sure to check this box if you wish to enable WormKit modules, and uncheck if you wish to only use the standard game settings. And that is Remap Keys, folks. <laughs>